Right, leaving everybody. Yeah, come out again for another camp tonight. It's just uh, just be on my own tonight, a bit of a solo one. It's uh, quite a last minute thing, so just took the old rucksack in the car and uh, probably see I've come back to the uh, same place that me and Sam were the other week. Uh, parked up again at the uh, Oyster Cuff car park and uh, walked in along the snake path. Didn't film any of that because obviously you saw that last time. So yeah, just come out for a bit of an overnighter. Um, hopefully, good friend Paul's going to meet me in the morning. He's going to drive in in the morning, park at Hayfield, and uh, and walk in from there. And then we're going to go from a bit of bit of a walk on from there. So I'll set up, get some tea on, then uh, going to have a well-deserved beer, I think. me all set up. Still not 100% uh, happy I don't think with my hammock setup. Still need to work on uh, making the setup a little bit a uh, little bit slicker. Did make up these uh, these slings out of some knotted rope and a couple of old uh, climbing carabiners that I don't use anymore. It's still a little bit fiddly trying to get exactly the right uh, right height. It's uh, getting a little bit breezy now as well. A bit of low cloud coming in. Hopefully we're not going to get any rain tonight, but we'll see. So uh, not sure if I'm going to light fire or not. We'll see how I feel later on. But uh, definitely going to get some tea on. Got a couple of. Uh, Got old Northern Monk beers to have a go at later on. Got the New World and the Order of the Faith. A couple of really top quality beers, so I'll give those a bash in a bit. And uh, right, time to get some tea on. So, a bit of something different on the menu tonight. We've got the old uh, Uncle Ben's three bean chilli rice and some salami as well to go with it. So, we'll uh, get that warmed up and uh, slice the salami up, put that in there. Good to go.
sausage, uh, this sausage is already pre-cooked so it's only a case of just warming it through. It's uh, ideal to come out camping with. It's pretty much done. Now I'm going to have a bit of look. Taste of the box. Very good. Well, I'm not going to uh, make you watch me sit here and eat this. So uh, I'm going to have this tea, eat this tea and uh, I think I will have a fire because, let's face it, camping is always better when you're on fire. Just a small one because it is quite breezy and I don't want it uh, blowing about anywhere. So uh, I'll pick some bits and bits and pieces up and blow a small fire away. Right, well that's my tea done and it was uh, absolutely spot on actually. So um, yeah, really good, quite surprised. Usually bring those uh, Wayfarer camping meals when I have to do anything like this. But, uh, the uh, outdoor shop that's down near where I live and not gone anywhere I went today so that was a bit of a bit of a stab in the dark but uh, it worked pretty well and I say really tasty. So, anyway I get washed up and then uh, we'll see about getting this fire lit I think. Yeah, just been wandering about behind the camp and uh, picking up a few bits of firewood. And, uh, places like this, there's always tons and tons of deadfall little branches that have blown off the trees and just dried there. And most of the time, it's perfectly good for burning and dry, which is always really annoys me when I come come back to somewhere like this and somebody's just purposefully purposefully taking down a huge great big tree like that taken off the side branches for a fire and then just left it. Yeah. It's obviously been quite recently done. Stumps just there. As I say, there's plenty of deadfall all around. The trees that have blown down naturally or even other people have already cut down. There's just absolutely no need for it. it uh, this place really suffers for it, unfortunately. And it really winds me up. It's, uh, just one of those things. Not everybody's is uh, a considerate camper, so. which is why if we're not careful, we're going to get stopped from camping in places like these. But uh, that doesn't seem to register with people. Anyway, mown over. So here we are. Like I was saying, there's a deadfall tree that's obviously blown down. You can see the root ball down at the bottom there. And, uh, obviously, people have already taken branches and things off of this, but more than enough wood for hundreds of campers to take a little bit off of here so absolutely no need as I was saying to be taking down any more trees but, uh, I'm just going to take one or two small pieces and uh, that'll be plenty for me We've uh, got a bit of a fire going. It's uh, nothing too massive, but it's uh, plenty for me. And, uh, not going to lie to you, we did have to get the gas stove underneath it, had a bit of a look round, and uh, just didn't anything round here really to, uh, to light it with. I didn't bring a fire lighting kit with me or anything. We uh, thought I might be able to get some dry bracken, but because uh, we are quite high up here, the bracken's still, uh, 
still green, so we haven't, uh, we haven't dried yet. So yeah, it's the uh, means to an end, the fire's going. That'll last me all night. For right now, I think I'm going to pretty much call it a night of that for filming. Um, probably struggling to pick me up anyway, although I've got my phone light and my head on. So I'm going to uh, finish my last beer off. And uh, make sure the fire's out, obviously. And, uh, in the hammock. I think Paul's going to be here uh, fairly early tomorrow morning, so uh, it's going to be ready for him to rise. Right, see you in the morning. Good morning. Well, on a on a downside, as you might be able to hear, it is raining this morning. It's coming down quite heavy at the minute. But on the plus side, Paul's here, and he's brought bacon and sausage. So you got all of that. So we just uh, camped out underneath my tarp. I've just stuffed my hammock away. Camped out underneath here. We're going to uh, get this bacon and sausage cooked. Have a coffee. See if this uh, worst of this rain blows over. And. Uh, and we'll be on his way. Right, so we've had his breakfast, which was uh, fairly epic, even if it did take a while to cook. <laughs> then pots and pans that we've got, not really designed to uh, cook a full English breakfast. But, uh, anyway, I'm all packed up. Yeah. Made sure the fire's well and totally out. There's just a few uh, bits of charcoal left in the bottom there. I'm going to leave the fire pit where it is, because that were, that were there when I, when I arrived. So just leave the place as I found it. Not left, left anything else. And we're uh, we're on his way. Yeah, straight across, yeah. Strong gear. <laughs> okay, so we're uh, back up top of William Clough now. I'm hoping you can uh, hear me alright because it's pretty windy. But, uh, what we're going to try and do, we're going to head up onto Kinder, but it's really clagged in again. So I think we're going to uh, head off and see if we can find the same project crashes which is just below the edge. So I'll we'll, uh, have a wander over so we can find anything and uh, bring you back if we do. Well, I'm hoping we might have found it. It's just down in the bottom there. We can definitely see something down in the bottom. So we'll uh, have a wander over and have a closer look.
Looking down the old valley there, it looks like we've got some uh, weather coming in, so we're going to drop back down there onto the snake path and then we'll uh, make our way back to my car that's a oyster club car park and then uh, we'll both jump in there and I'll take Paul back to his car which is parked in uh, Hayfield. So I don't know if I'll do much more filming, we'll see how the weather is. down to this little old uh, boffy or shepherd's hut or shooting lodge or something like that I think it must have been at some time just gonna have five minutes here out of the wind get something to eat and drink and then we'll, uh, we'll bash on down to snake woodland the Clough car park now, back of the car. So uh gonna end this video here. So as always, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.